Hello guys, it's back here again, Madart633. Um, today I'm going to do a special drawing for you. Yes, today we are be going to be... I'll start again, my English is not that good. <laughs> We're going to be drawing um, a Messerschmitt 109E, famously flown by the famous Franz von Rohe. So, uh, what have we got? I've basically got the outlines for the drawing. If you can see here, took from a plane on War Thunder, which you could take screenshots in for those you don't know. And this is a 0.7 high tech point pen, ink pen that I use always with drawing now. Uh, I picked these up from Raymond's. Let's get some nice fill it, like refills in. So if you run out, you can obviously put them back in. Uh, I have got a new card, which is going to help me with everything like the drawing wise I think so I won't be pausing it for as much so I'm just basically starting by always with what I do is I start the prop now with the 109E it had a very type of funny spinner which I'm going to start now and which has a hole centered in the middle followed by the lines on the inside. Now this dark area inside, as you know, we're going to paint it. Why is my pen dying on me? <laughs> I'm black, like that. Why my, why's my pen doing this? There you go. Follow, followed by the best I can do. Full circle of the first the prop. Now, uh, the Franz von Rose 109 was mainly a typical like type of aircraft which was followed in different colours, mainly white for his aircraft. Uh, yeah, he used white for the yeah, nose and the wing tips on there. That's not a proper circle, I apologise for that. That is appalling of me. That's very appalling. It's because I have to look at the different camera angles at the minute. It's because I've got a tripod in the way in order to draw it. Now, as, as we're going to feature the propeller spinning, of course, as the engine on, it's going to obviously feed not feature any of the props going on so leave it like that um, I'll see what to do in the right start off here yeah. the back engine now I am a huge expertly fan of the one and I so I know a lot about it oh, yeah, just by drawing it from a minute from underneath like this uh, anyway, what I'm just adding in now is the air intake, which was featuring all the aircraft now. That's the actual air intake itself. Uh, uh, now there was uh, like a hole underneath here for taking the engine covers off for some to get like maintenance work and that. As well as up here, we have some on the engine cowling. It's going to be painted black in. And so is this one. Uh, what else now? Right, I'm just going to start by first off paint, well, painting in the upper side of the engine hang here, yeah, oh that's a bit of a pull a bit more down I think, oh I haven't I, I haven't got the proper nose in there I don't think but it looks good so far this come down here and end up about there Followed by the machine guns that are going to be painted on the top here. 
Now, like with every single measurement version, the machine guns MG 17s are featured on the top. Let's like say so. that. Right. Hmm. Right. I suppose that's okay, I think. Uh, do the. Uh, right. Go start down here with the engine. No, the exhaust, sorry, I should say. Now, the 109 exhaust in the E version had six exhaust. Well, you know, like six exhaust pipes. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. There you go. See, easy as that. We just go in your black. Down here, give the shadow off. Then, cost top here, do a bit more black to show the engine. You've got the bottom radiator cover like this. That feature come down for by that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that looks good so far, but oh, if you just give me two seconds, I'll be back with you. I've just got to check whether I've got the right colours. What we'll be doing afterwards for this build. So don't worry, away. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Again. Uh, Right, so let's start with this wing here. On here. So this is the bottom of the wing I am doing that in a minute. On gear. It's nice straight edges. Like that. Now over here we have all the cannons I'll be sorted there so it's not that much of a fit, just a bit of um, like an air cannon really <laughs> it's not that difficult just along here up round No, I don't bother about the cockpit at the minute, as that will, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just how I am. Just on the flare. Uh, don't know, why, why are my hands are shaking? I know. On the body, back, back along here. Uh, that's it. Right, just work on the tail now. Now, uh, I'm just going to see how this works. Get my hand in through here. It's very tricky getting these lines, it is. Well, you've just been absolutely scared, are you? There you have the cannon. Like that. What is up in my hand today? God. I'm shaking like all over. Oh my oh, Jesus Christ. So, so there. Now there's two holes behind here for it getting the cowling off and get it I'm guessing again. Um on here. 
have holes one, two, where the wing joins to the body of the aircraft. Like that. Down. Down again. Uh, so, so far it looks okay. Now, on here we get the panel lines in. Just here. Uh, here there. There. In here. Just go along here. Uh, right. Mm. Let's look at, look at the tail. me knocking the camera. Now the tail fin I always have trouble with. So if it comes down to here so that there's something like that. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Hit like that. And there you go. Now, just doing the edge of the canopy. Now, there's different types of canopies, which I know the 109s were different in some way. So, I'm just going to do the basic lines of the canopy. And then you've got the antenna wire here. What the hell is she doing? Right, get the elevators in here that just quick line uh now I know there's right there something like that no no. There was a type of lines along there. And then you've got these things here where it went. And finally, the tail wheel situated like that. So now we've got the main body of the aircraft in. We can see whereabouts the panel lines need going. This is how I work. I first do the panel lines, everything else like that. Before moving on to the difficult stages mainly with the canopy and then the crosses and the rest of the fuselage so what else have we got to do the rest of the fuselage and crosses uh, personal emblem Wurra himself I have trouble pronouncing it do not comment about me um, I have to admit these lines are a bit wonky from here it's probably because I apologise it's not 100% accurate because the camera is situated right in front of where I record so I have trouble looking right down at what I'm working at so I I'm so sorry if it's not 100% accurate for you but it's the best what I'm offering for you guys as well as a drawing so um. Uh, what shall I do? Finish, I'll finish off all the panel lines for you. Then we can get back to uh, I'll show you how to do the cockpit and there's markings and everything else like that. So, yeah, I'll give that and then I'll back with this update in a minute. Right, I'm getting really annoyed now. I'm going to kill the guy who on eBay for that camera card. Oh, right. If I did have technical issues, and look at that, my internet's gone off. Wow. Brilliant. Uh, I am going to uh, show you how easy it is 
to colour in an image. Just like this, with a few, few techniques that I'm going to be using is oops, some pen crayons, just ordinary shading pencils that could be any range. Um, even that, or just one in all those seconds, or even one HB pencil, which I could use. But the main fact is that it's going to be coloured. So here we have a pack of Raymond coloured pencils. Now they weren't bad, too powerful for them. It wasn't that bad at all. I've I've just started using them and they're pretty good. So what I'll do now is I will show you how to uh, colour the whole of the picture in. Okay, so we're first going to start off with its normal camouflage, it's just going to be a blue uh, you just basically slowly build this up from what's over here, so as you can see it's already turned a shade of blue, now the blue using the German aircraft RML 65 was like not such a dark like light blue if you, if you know what I mean, that technical what we artists like to call it is layers, where we put on one colour, we build it up with another colour, and maybe the same colour, and a mixed colour. So, as you can see here, it's already given an impression of some very nice, very, very light blue. I think you can see, yes you can, just along here. There's some nice arts there of light blue. Now, uh, wonder if where, wonder if his bottom is nose. Is what I'll check that in a minute. Uh, yep. So now, as you can see, I'm going to build it up again in some areas with a bit more blue to like draw out the nice colours. Not really like here. Oh, the stabilizers. As well as underneath here, I'm going to get my hat around the camera stand. Also, as you can see, it's already coming to life just by a little pencil technique of just using different layers upon one drawing. Right. Right. Uh, let's have a look. What else? So, yes, you can just simply see a nice shade of blue is starting to appear. Right. Time for the next colour, which will be the grey and green. Yes, I was true. The colour is. As you can see, it's not a fully shade of green on the two, but it just shows the benefit of having it. <laughs> that didn't sound too right. Sorry, I kind of weird mind. We got the RMO three. Now around the canopy work, you will of course have to be careful when placing this in. Like so, um, around here, there you go. Yep, so of course, with the canopy framework, just be careful when doing around the edges. Jesus, let's ignore life, you can hear it. There you have it. Um, 
Right, what I'll do is just go to well, I'll finish the camouflage for you, then we'll get back to what we're going to do. Okay? Now we've got the main of the drawing now, it's best to fill in all the little uh, deep. Oh, I've been there. Sorry, my phone just went dead. Oh, okay. Uh, such as the cross here, this can be, of course, needs to be painted black. Everything's wobbling about. Just because I'm using the best way and method to try and get it portrayed. Uh, oh, another thing is the spinner. Um, France, uh, his aircraft has a spinner of white and black. So, upon this, I just build up layers again and again. Second motion is something like that. So as you can tell, like that, you can almost see a layer of it. Of course, as it spins and turns, of it building and building up. So often, got cross here. Cross down the bottom here. My hand through. There you go. And, uh, where else? All the tire. And you know what I mean. And maybe. Let's do a bit of thick black. Yeah, something like that. As you can see, just by layering it, it can build up such a good piece of, um, you know, how can I explain it? Uh, of the spinner in motion, as we, <laughs> as some people could put it. Uh, his nose, the nose, the white. I've forgotten to put some key in here. There. So, yeah, we got the main colours fixed of the aircraft. So now I want to fill in, probably along here, the exhausts. Maybe. So, we take from here a light grey, parts of grey, and just rub it in along the feet, along here, giving a brown effect. And of course, if you want a bit in there. But on the edge, it's just thick, like that. that Open it up a bit. That's that tailplane there. Um, hmm. Let's let's have a look at the cockpit while we're using the grey. Now, as for the cockpit, you just use the grey. And again, build it up layer by layer. But another point thing is that. The German levers were a bit more brown. Let's give them a bit more brown in this leather here. Around here. And I said, yeah, so just by brightening it up, it's already given an array of colour within his clothing. And of course, there are the two grey pieces here. Hmm. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, so now, of course, keep this streaky effect of the glaze canopy just like that. Uh, I'm not going to do any more because it will build it too too much. I think. Right. So now let's go on with the shading. Now as with the shading, I'm going to be using a B soft pencil. Uh, I might have moved you out of place. So what? No, you're fine. You're still, uh, so underneath here, we're going to use the light. Smudge it a bit. A lot here. A very lot of here because it is the exhaust. 
Um, it's just so easy to create some something that is like yeah, mainly underneath this fuselage and shading. Here and here, so shading on the tail fin. And here, uh, there, machine gun holes, that's another shading part. And mainly across the back of the engine here. That's it, As you, it's, I said this before, I'll say this again, it's not that difficult to create something like this right on. That's better. It's not. It's not as difficult to create something like this, well for me it is, but for you I don't know. But, as I always uh, say, I s just try, uh, I'll say again, just give it a try, guys, you know. What can we harm with doing this? It's all there. Uh, right. Put on this now, the last and final thing to do is add some exhausting down here. Streaks across here. Also, when you're shading, blend it where it's going. Um, that we need nice round circle. One. Right, now it's technique. I'm just, if you notice how I, how I do it, it's just, just that. Same as that way. And finally, here. Oh dear. Make sure this prop is spinning, of course. If you wish, blend some of it in. Right, that is now the conclusion. Everything is now completed, in my eyes. Uh, and there, there you go. Everything is complete, guys. The last thing to do is to sign it. Right, now that is everything. I want to thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you want any advice on anything, feel free to comment in the description below of what you want to. Also, I want to point out this was the France from Rose drawing. I want to point out, of course, as you that if anyone wants to see an ace get drawn. Please let me know because I will make I will sometime try and do this. So without a doubt I want to thank everyone for watching this. Have a great day and from Mike Mile 63 take care and I'll see you later sometime in the future. Thank you for watching and good night guys.